Dream Big is actually a follow-up piece from a piece I did about a year ago called Dream. And my sister walked in my house and she loved the piece Dream, but she didn't really like the color scheme that I had and she said she wanted a bigger one. So Dream Big came about in the colors that I knew that she loved and it'll inspire everyone in her house to continue to Dream Big. This piece is titled Brown Sugar. Brown sugar is actually a spin, it's sanilatum, but it's in like iridescent hues and the golds. I was going for the golden colors at first, kind of reminiscent to Warhol's gold merlin, but I wanted to put the brown sugar aspect on it and sanilatum. I think I like looked at one of her Instagram pictures and kind of compiled this image. So it's dedicated to sanilatum. Call it brown sugar. The title of this piece is Woman, She, Her. Based off of the Chinese characters, um, flipping through a Chinese writing book. Um, the woman is actually no one. It's just a dreamscape with my signature twisted cities and hidden messages inside the canvas. Um, just colors that will come to life to come and grab you because women are just vibrant. So it's woman. She, her, whoever she may be. This is Hip Hop Roots. It's a hand-thrown bow, and it's actually scraffito, and it's the roots of hip hop. From the sneakers, to the city itself, of New York, the turntables which started it all, the MCs and the break dancers. Everything beginning in the beginning foundation. These were the roots of hip hop in my mind, which in a sense is like a family crest because hip hop is in my DNA. This is a hand thrown and hand built ceramic glazed mug. Uh, it's just skull and bones. So it's a hand carved skull and the bones, reminiscent of what I thought that a pirate might use if a pirate was to use ceramic. We have here Pink Elephant. Pink Elephant is an imaginary liquor and this is the the canter, the bottle that I would actually have this in. So this is a removable headpiece, the actual elephant's head. And the canter, and you would fill your liquor in it. I'd imagine that it would be a pink lemonade, vodka type cocktail that would concoct to make the pink elephant. Because you've always heard the drunk people see the pink elephant. The title of this piece is Birth of a City. It's a hand cast and thrown ceramic egg with the city coming out of it because I feel like a lot of my artwork thrives from the cities and it's the birth and the egg kind of like what came first the chicken or the egg Did the city come first how was the city birth it's just more or less metaphors to the components of life and I feel like all cities are living breathing organisms the title of this piece is dope art and dope art is based in a few aspects. I feel like I create dope art and graffiti itself and the whole aspect. And that's where the wall came from. So it was a hand-built wall and hand-built mini bricks. And you have plenty like, you know, Black Lives Matter and One Love. And we have power and unity, word up and fresh. Of course, G was here, uh, equality for people. Um, everyone has a right and dope art, I believe that art is the life that gives everybody life and hope and meaning and vibrancy and you know hip hop it all started in the foundations and the graffiti artists they, they painted on the walls to bring vibrancy to a dim decaying area to show you that there was life was still there and that's what a lot of my work reflects that life is still here even when people don't see that there's life the title of this piece is When Doves Cry They Make Purple Rain. For obvious reasons, we lost the great musician Prince Rogers Nelson this year. Um, I was moved by his music throughout my whole life. And this was actually a steal taken from the actual motion picture Purple Rain because I wanted to make sure that everyone was doing Prince dedication pieces and I wanted to make sure that my piece was special. So of course his favorite royal color, the purple hues, and the rain pops off and it's 
iridescent and it shimmers in the light like the rain would do. Uh, so I allow you to baptize yourself in the purple rains. When the doves cry, they make purple rain. And the doves are seriously crying these days because we lost the legend. This, the title of this piece is Happy Face. And happy Face was a happy accident. He was a hand-thrown vase. It kind of fell in. So I took to the hand building and created the face and the happy face. And we're cool fired them to give them a metallic glazing look, similar to the metallics that fluctuate in my paintings. So happy face is a character of his own. Everyone should have a happy face. The title of this piece is Taxi Ride. And a lot of people ask me where the taxi is at. But the, the catch of this piece is for you to actually envision yourself that you're in the ride, the back seat of the taxi, and you're whipping past your first time in New York City, and your head is on a swivel, and you're just spinning around and around. You may have had a couple of things to drink, even the club. Who knows? But it's just New York. It was just a fast pace. It's fast pace. Coming from Indiana, it was just a fast pace. So this is the movement that was captured looking around the taxi windows and the reflections in the life of New York City, the city that never sleeps. We have over here, I have three pieces from my collection, my ceramics collection. Um, we'll start with the brick wall piece, which is also another take in my series that I did with the dope art and the graffiti aspect and how vibrancy and life comes from the exterior world that's rough and kind of decaying to other people is where I got this, this ideal from. And both my walls actually sold at the show, which was amazing. Um, then we'll go on to the, the hand-thrown plates, and this is the boombox Buddha. So it was drawn in with ceramic underglazed pencils, so it gets back into the drawing aspect because all foundations of art are drawing, and kind of similar to what Basquiat said, believe it or not, I can draw. So that's how we get this take. And the Buddhas are soothing in the hip-hop. Then we have little Frankie. And little Frankie was just reminiscence of like Frankenstein from the monsters and just a, well that was a Herman monster actually. But a little Frankenstein and just my own little hip hop twist on him. He's just urban, so he's little Frankie.